All right, so right now I'm here with my friend Dominic Bertino. What's uh, up? And uh, we're uh, just appreciating this day, this time out in this uh, uh, country uh, scenic area. All right, any news flashes or anything you want to share or just, I don't know, anything on your heart that you want to uh, speak to? Not particularly, just trying to walk, walk with Christ. Uh, it's not easy, you know. I wrestle, I wrestle with them a lot, but trying to walk with them, try to continue to engage him uh, in areas that uh, may be frustrating or uh, in areas of uh, uncertainty or, uh, you know, where areas of my life that I don't understand why they are the way they are. That's, that's what it means to be a Christian. It means to wrestle with God sometimes. It means to talk to Christ at all points in your life and uh, you know you're not always going to be in a place of consolation and uh, and that's okay yep well, I guess what's a piece of advice uh, you would give people just like when you're not in consolation you're looking at when you're in desolation like what's well, what's something you think about what's something that helps you through it it's like bring everything to the Lord mm -hmm. like hide nothing Feel free to express frustrations toward the Lord because it's, it's a lot better to bring those to Him than to uh, just use that as an excuse to not talk to Him. He would much rather be confronted with your biggest frustrations and to receive your uh, your frustration than uh, you to like hide from Him or to ignore Him because of something that you're frustrated about. We know intellectually that he loves us and that he never puts us in a situation that that cannot make us better. You know, he's always uh, allowing things to happen for a better good. Even though we may intellectually accept that, there's still times where we don't see that and we might be really frustrated with him. So bring that to him and like have a relationship with the Lord where you can talk to him like real and you can get, and you don't, you don't have to be afraid to be angry. I think, you know, some Christians are like afraid to be angry at God. And like, I think there's something there because I think, you know, if, if you can maintain the belief that God is good through all your difficulties and that causes you to never be angry with God, God bless you. But, you know, people like myself who do get angry from time to time, like we need to go to God and be able to express frustration. So feel free to do that. He wants that. And that will strengthen your relationship with the Lord. Just like when you fight with a best friend, you know, sometimes you come out of that being better friends. Amen. Good stuff. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to cut it there. My arms are getting a little tired. <laughs> but no, it's, it's good, Dominic. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. And right now we are here filming for um, something big that's coming. And I'm sucking on a minute. I'm actually working on this project with my brother Joseph. It's uh, I wonder if I should tell you guys. Actually, I'll, I'll tell you guys later, but just know that we're working on this. And I'll tell you sometime soon. I'll actually, I gotta talk to my brother because I don't know, it's, it's kind of a secret right now. But to be perfectly honest with you, I had about maybe 40 different takes I had to do. And I kept fumbling and fumbling and fumbling. But don't give up, just keep going. Eventually you'll get it down. All right, so today is my sister's wedding. She's getting married. So I'll pray for her and her uh, soon-to-be husband, Joe. This video is definitely going to be cut a lot shorter because of that. So, alright, have a listen. 